Hello. Now that we're done with the first part of the video, which was the the girls, they're beside me right now. Now let us move on to the second part of this video, which is the unwrapping of the the last issue of the Sailor Moon Eternal Edition manga. So this is number 10. And I think I've waited over over a year. I think almost yes, I think almost two years of waiting to complete numbers one to ten. Because what they did is was they they release one issue every two to three months so it really took a while before it reached to the last issue and it's finally here i cannot wait to to see it because this issue had the most beautiful art cover by of course the author herself now putakiyuchi I really love the Sailor Moon manga. So this is the Eternal Edition, which is a lot more bigger and thicker compared to the older one, to the older issue. Well, since the movie isn't available yet, I'm reading again the entire Sailor Moon manga, just so I can um satisfy my Sailor Moon craving. Oh by the way, I bought this at Fully Booked. So they're my only source here in Cebu City for, for the Sailor Moon manga and Marvel Comics, which I also collect. But that that is for another time. My my X-Men collection. Wow, they really package it package it really well. Seat and here's I don't know maybe this could be a
This is number two, cover of Sailor Mercury. Have this one covered the second part of the Dark Kingdom arc. This is issue number three with Sailor Mark in the cover. And issue number four with Sailor Jupiter on the cover. So both these issues tackles the, the second arc, which is the Dark Moon arc and the introduction of Chibi Moon and Sailor Pluto. Here we have issue number five with Sailor Venus on the cover. This is the, the thickest one, very thick. And this is issue number six with Sailor Neptune and Uranus on the cover. So both of these issues deals with the Infinity Arc or in the anime, the Deathbusters. And also the introduction of the Outer Senshi, Sailor Neptune, Sailor Uranus, and of course, Sailor Saturn. This is issue number seven with Sailor Pluto and Saturn undercover. And issue number eight with Sailor Chibi Moon on the cover. So issues seven and eight covers the dream arcs, which tackles with the Dead Moon Circus. So on the the final part of the, the series of this arc. It introduces us to the Astrid Senshi with Sailor Juno, Sailor Vesta, Sailor Ceres, and Sailor Pallas, which will be the future guardians for Sailor Chibi Moon when she grows up. And finally, we have number nine. With Prince Endymion and Princess Serenity on the cover. And number 10, with all of the sun sheets on the cover. So these last two issues deals with the stars arc, which is the finale, the last part. And it introduces us to a lot of sailor centuries from all over the, the Milky Way. And uh, the villain for this one is one of my favorite villains. She's the golden sailor century. And probably one of the most powerful sailor centuries out there, Sailor Galaxia. It also introduces us to the sailor starlights and their princess, Princess Kaku or Sailor Kaku. And the finale part will introduce us eventually to Sailor Cosmos, which is Sailor Moon's final form. She's from the future. There she is. And of course, like any good series, it ends with with the wedding of Prince and the Mule. It ends with the wedding of Prince and the Mule and Prince Serenity. And eventually they will become King and the Mule and Mio Queen Serenity and rule all over Earth peacefully. So let me do a size comparison on how big the Sailor Moon Eternal Edition is. So this is the original manga size, the first edition released way back in, I don't know, the 90s probably. I bought this in, this is the Sailor V manga. It tells the story of 
Sailor Venus's journey before she became Sailor Venus while she was still Sailor V and fighting evil by herself with Artemis. See how small it is? And this was the an English edition released by Kadansha. See the size? So this is comparable to the size of a, a graphic novel, like from Marvel or from DC. And I have some, so we can compare. So it is Avengers, Scarlet Witch. See? It's almost the same size. So it's really big. And it's really huge. It's mean has quality paper and it is very glossy, very clear. But I have a feeling that maybe a few years from now they will finally, I don't know, release a version of the entire manga with colors. That would be very, that would be very beautiful to see, but I think it's gonna take a while for them to do that. For those who haven't bought the, the Eternal Edition yet, I hope you guys will buy it. It is worth it. It's If you're a, a fan or a collector like me, it's really worth it. And you won't regret buying it. So I would like to say hello again to all the Moonies out there. Wherever you are, Hayo, Konnichiwa, Konbawa. I just hope that the Sailor Moon Eternal movie will finally come out and we can finally see it. I just gonna wait. <laughs> okay, okay, enough about that. So, before I end this video, I would like to say thank you to Ayumi Elite Cebu for my ombre nails. And a more dental for my beautiful smile and pearl medical aesthetics for my skincare. Thank you all so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye guys and until next time.